I'm Denise Hammersley. I'm head of Stephen Purse International and Boarding. Um, Anna, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. Hi, Denise. My name is Anna. I'm from Ukraine. I was doing GCSE course uh, for two years in Stephen Purse Foundation. I was living in um, San Barnabas boarding house. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I first time when I came, uh, it was my first time coming to UK and first time living in San Barnabas or like other boarding houses. So that's cool. Yeah, can we just be clear? How long did you live in the boarding house at St. Barnabas, Anna? I lived there for both of my, for two years of my course. Mm -hmm. So it was quite a change when you came from Kiev, presumably from the Ukraine, yeah? From Lviv, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you came, you arrived, you'd never been to the UK before. Um, you'd never been in a boarding environment before. So how did you adjust to that? What, what was it like? What did you have to do? Tell me about that. Uh, I think it was like, I'm, I'm sure it was really easy. And um, oh my God, sorry. <laughs> One more second. Um, it, was, <laughs> it was really easy feel, indeed. Did... Sorry? I, I was going to say, did, how, did, how did you feel? Was it like a home? And did it take a while to settle in? Just think about what, what was it like? And, and talk about the friends there and what it was like, the mix of nationalities. And just tell us about um, what it was it like. Was, when you it was really easy to settle personally, like partially because of my personality, because I find it quite easy to adjust to new environments and new people. But most importantly, because of the friendliness, genuine friendliness mm -hmm. and openness of yeah. everyone at the boarding or school. Is it staff or is it teachers or students? So it was really easy. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I actually really enjoyed the mix of nationalities because it gives this, yeah, it's a really interesting experience and mm -hmm. it gives lots of like unexpected um, and pleasant surprises because you, for example, you can learn something about other cultures, but you also can learn uh, new words from the other languages. So it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, and, and I, what other nationalities were there? Can you remember what nationalities you had in the house? Um, for example, I had lots of friends from China and Korea, but yeah. also from there were some students from Russia and mm -hmm. also other European countries. So it was really nice. OK, right. So let's talk about the room then. Yeah. Can you can you describe what your room was like uh, and what what your room, your personal room? Um, you actually shared a room, didn't you, of course, Anna? So we can talk about that. And also what else was there in the boarding house? What, what else could you go and do? Yeah. Uh, so. I lived in the room number two in mm -hmm. the St. Barnabas house and I was absolutely in love with it uh, because it was really spacious, it was uh, really comfortable. I also had like lots of windows in my room so it was quite light. It was mm -hmm. really cozy and white and we also had a, in each room we have um, heaters which is also really yeah. convenient because uh, sometimes in winter it might get quite cold so you will keep mm -hmm. warm. And yeah, yeah. we also had a big bathroom and actually each room has a bathroom in, in the room, which is also yeah. really good. And yeah. also we had lots of power sockets, which is also pleasant yes. because you need, yeah. you need to charge your gadgets somewhere. So it's You nice. absolutely do. Yeah. And where else could you meet your friends in the boarding house? Where else could you go? Uh, we also have a common room, which is mm -hmm. uh, space for common use, <laughs> obviously. Probably. And I also like, I really like this space because um, it's what, actually where you can spend time with your friends, uh, apart from your other rooms, if you can invite your friends to your room. And mm -hmm. in the common room, we have a big TV. We also have two amazing green sofas, which I'm also, mm -hmm. I also really love them because they're super mm -hmm. comfortable to lie down after like tired like, tiring day and mm -hmm. we also have small kitchen in a uh, common room because and where you can cook like some basic stuff or store your food like you can use kettle microwave mm -hmm. also a toaster and you also mm -hmm. have small fridge and yeah mm -hmm. like and, and did you feel safe anna how, how did how how does the house how did the staff make you feel safe tell us how you do that um First of all, because we live uh, we live in the small boarding house, which is mm -hmm. close community, so we know everyone like each other. So you mm -hmm. know who has to be in the boarding house and who is stranger, and mm -hmm. just in case. 
Uh, but yeah, we have lots of security things. For example, we have lots of CCTV on our mm -hmm. territory. We also have sign-in uh, screens. In the house, of course. No CCTV yeah. cameras in the house, Anna. Just on the outside. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> we also, uh, apart from that, apart from that, we also have uh, you, Denise, and like had boarding and mm -hmm. Jack living mm -hmm. with us in the boarding mm -hmm. house. But also there are lots of people, there are staff coming during the day and nighttime yeah. who take care of mm -hmm. us. And they're also really kind and friendly and they're there just to check how we're doing and to know mm -hmm. that we are safe and well. So we also mm -hmm. have curfews, which is one of the parts how to know that we are safe. That's yeah. when staff knocks on the door and asks, are you okay? How are you doing? Yeah. So just yeah. to know that you are and home. Yeah. And what about what about sort of community things? You know, how do we celebrate things? I, I can remember a few things that you did, Anna, but go on, you tell me how we celebrated things in the house. We we have actually lots of things. Like apart from one part of living and studying and boarding houses in U, uh, in UK is about not only just having academic successes, but mm -hmm. also having some fun. So mm -hmm. for example, in boarding house in our common room we sometimes organize um small like uh, birthday parties for our friends mm -hmm. who are like far away from home but they also want to have some fun and it's mm -hmm. really nice to, to do because it gives this like close um close community feel and we also have like really nice tradition in san barnabas it's also a uh, secret uh, santa yeah uh, it's when mm -hmm. Like one week before, oh no, I think a few weeks before Christmas holidays, mm -hmm. we um, choose who we're gonna, like it's secret. We pull the names out of the hat and then we know who we have to get present to. Mm -hmm. And then we also have to place that present under the Christmas tree, we, which we have in our common room. And mm -hmm. the nicest thing about and this like whole celebration is when you can actually open up the presents and maybe sometimes try to guess who was the present from. But yeah, yeah it, I don't know about other houses. I think other houses are also trying to do that. But mm -hmm. if they don't have it, you can be like students can be the one who can come and implement this tradition. Yeah. <laughs> A really no nice tradition, isn't it? Actually, to find out, you're absolutely right. And you know, everybody wants to know who's bought them that present, so we all walk <laughs> around trying to choose that. Absolutely. And what about finally, then? Let's just talk about sort of um, studying, Hannah, because obviously that's quite important in the house. How, do, how does that happen? How is that organized in the house? Um, so, for younger students, I can say because I was doing GCSE, uh, we have a two hour study session, supervised study session in the afternoon. So after the dinner and before the bedtime from seven until nine o'clock, uh, we mm -hmm. have supervised study where we gather at Kirby's, which is our dining hall. And yeah. we also, so there are teachers with us sitting and supervising our studies. And this is the time when you can actually do your homework and prepare for the tests. And which is really nice because you actually know when you have time to do your work school yeah. work but also another good thing is that because there are teachers around you can always ask for help because mm -hmm. first of all they're like specialists in their own area but they also know other like subjects mm -hmm. fields yeah so that's when important, isn't it? Yeah. yeah when yeah. you're struggling you've got a teacher that you can actually ask so you haven't got to wait until the next morning or the next lesson you can say can you help me with with whatever maths or something or English, whatever it is, brilliant. And then, and then we have graduate assistants, don't we? And um, and what do they organise for you? What sort of things did you do during the time? Where did you go? So graduate assistants are also really good. I really love them. They're amazing people because they're younger, so mm -hmm. they also they kind of have like connection with us on like really like age basis. But uh, those are people who actually organise our extracurricular time and like free time. So for example, uh, our weekend begins on a Friday afternoon after the lessons. Mm -hmm. So on Friday afternoon, uh, we also have um, like time that we spend together, leisure time that we spend together. For example, we can, uh, we can have movie nights at Kirby's, yeah. or we can have a table, like a uh, different table game. Yeah, board game, yeah, yeah. board game. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's well, Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, and we also sometimes, like last year, we went to the cinema or we went to ice skating, which was also really nice, and they organized it for us. 
And we also, on Saturdays, we have a two-hour sports session, mm -hmm. uh, which is also really nice because mm -hmm. we go to that nearby um, sports center, which is called Kelsey Courage, and we have sports there. For example, volleyball, basketball, or anything else. And the good thing is that also they don't enforce it onto you. You can like propose what to do yourself. And this is also really nice because you can yeah. do whatever you find it interesting. Interesting. And so so to summarize all of this, Anna, your experience, you've had two years of living in the boarding house. Um, how has that prepared you for what you want to do going forward? How has that prepared you for university life or for your next part of your education? What do you think? Um, first of all, like what I want to say is that life and like living and mm -hmm. studying in UK in boarding houses, especially it's amazing experience, which actually teaches you a lot of things because you learn how to travel. You learn how to ask for help. You learn how mm -hmm. to help each other. Um, mm -hmm. You also learn how to do those basic things and how to cope with your everyday life, how to wake up and yeah, just keep on going uh, mm -hmm. with your stuff, how to clean, how to uh, do your laundry, because all of those skills are super important for your future life, not only in university or other like schools, but also just for your adult life. And yeah, in my opinion, it's just amazing experience, which is worth investment because afterwards you become in you yourself you become stronger powerful with lots of lots of friends around the world and this is what makes it so amazing yeah. <laughs>